What's up everybody? The new Birds of Prey trailer has been launched. Now, in the I, I did a reaction to the Birds of Prey teaser and I had my daughter here with me. Um, she's in school right now so she couldn't be here for this one. She loves Harley Quinn so that's why I had her in that other video. Um, but being that she can't be here, I have another special guest I'd like to introduce you all to, and that is me, Baby Rosie. Hi, YouTube. Can I say hi to her? Hi. All right. This is my daughter's childhood doll. My daughter's silly child. But that's besides the point. My daughter's had this door, this, this doll since she was born. Now, let me just tell you something about baby Rosie right here, okay? I would jump in front of a moving car and save this doll if it was on the ground and the car was about to hit it. I would jump in front of that car and save it. Um... If this doll fell off a cliff, there's a good chance I would jump off the cliff after the doll. Um, now, just like with, I, I want to make this announcement that with Birds of Prey, not with Birds of Prey, but with Suicide Squad and Harley Quinn, I'm going to make some serious bold statements in this video so you're probably people are probably gonna hate me for it okay but I would suggest not hating me for it and just taking my opinion for what it is an opinion right um, when it comes to movies I mean I'm, I'm with everybody on on their thoughts usually but I find that I have my own lane as well and I, I actually appreciate that about myself um, but I'm going to make some seriously serious bold statements about Suicide Squad and Harley Quinn in general that I don't know if people are going to agree with or not. Um, what do you think, Baby Rosie? Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, right? This is totally cringy and cringeworthy, but it's not, Okay. I know you think that's me talking, but it's not. That's actually Baby Rosie talking, okay? And it's not my fault that she looks like a doll, okay? And I don't know. And my my daughter loves her, and she's got to be in the video, and that's it, okay? She loves Harley Quinn, just like my daughter loves Harley Quinn. Yeah, guys, I do. All right, so... After I do the reaction, I'm going to tell you what I feel about the movie in general, the, the trailer so far, I mean. And then I'm going to make those statements that I don't know if you're going to agree with or not. Alright, so here we go. You know what a Harlequin is? A Harlequin's role is to serve. It's nothing without a master. And no one gives two shits. Who we are beyond that. The Joker and I broke up. I wanted a fresh start. But it turns out I wasn't the only Damon Gotham looking for emancipation. Spectacular news! This queen, she loves me.
damn good time. Get ready, ladies. Never call a woman chick. I'll accept broad lady woman. And on occasion, bitch. Bitch? What are you talking about for me, William? Okay. I'm going to tell you straight up. I like it. I like the way it's looking. Okay. Um, it looks good. All right. In that trailer, I like. And that shows, like, the whole Harley Quinn, uh, what, what I think is just so great about her as Harley Quinn. Like the part, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, the part in the trailer where she goes, boo, right? And then hits her head. Um, I'm not sure if the thing she says before that is actually in that scene because it seems like it wasn't. But either way, just that whole boo part. And I feel like Margot Robbie is like the only person who could pull that off like that. So... I just, I just think she's great as Harley Quinn. Um, I'm excited for it. Um, my, like I said, my daughter loves Harley Quinn. My daughter is seven years old. Okay. Um, now I understand that you know it's a little bit, uh, a little bit ahead of her time, right? And she's young. Maybe that's not. But you know what? She really likes Harley Quinn. So. I'm all for her watching anything with Harley Quinn in it. So she will see Birds of Prey. We won't probably go to the theater and see it. We'll probably wait till it comes out uh, at home to watch it. Um, but definitely, definitely going to see that movie. And it looks great so far. Now, one thing I want to say about Suicide Squad, the movie in general, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you straight up, I love that movie, okay? A lot of people, I've, I've heard knock that movie so much. Like, oh, it just wasn't a good movie and blah, blah. I love that movie. I love everything about it. I don't know why. I love everything about it, okay? And now, now that's a really bold statement, right? Because... There's two things that I want to say here besides everything else I love about it, right? The two things are, because of that movie, I got to see Harley Quinn. Not only Harley Quinn, but what I think is and will always be the greatest Harley Quinn ever. I personally think, just like uh, Heath Ledger... As the Joker um, was given that, you know, earned that title as being the greatest. Now, granted that Joaquin Phoenix is about to do Joker and it's going to be in its own lane, right? And it's probably going to be great as well, right? But but follow me on, on my way of thinking about all of this, right? Um, I personally think that Suicide Squad was a gift to all of us because we got to see Harley Quinn, the greatest Harley Quinn that, that will, there will ever be, okay? That's my opinion, okay? I am so grateful for that Harley Quinn, for Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. I think she's fantastic as Harley Quinn. Okay, and maybe there will be another Harley Quinn, okay, but nobody will take away from me at this time her being the greatest Harley Quinn ever, okay? Now, how many Harley Quinns are there to compare it to besides maybe Batman animated series? I, I, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of stuff that, you know what I'm saying, but besides that, right? I personally think that that movie, Suicide Squad, was amazing. Now, now this is the statement that's going to get me into serious trouble, okay? How could you like Suicide Squad when everyone has so many bad things to say about Jared Leto's Joker? Well, 
let me tell you this, right? So, granted, he's no Heath Ledger. Granted that Joaquin Phoenix's Joker still hasn't come out, so we don't we don't know what's gonna happen there. But of course, just like you, I feel it's gonna it's gonna be fantastic and amazing. Okay, but um, this statement is gonna be. Cr I personally do not have a, I'm not going to say I love and it's wonderful. I have no problem with Jared Leto's Joker. In fact, if I were to see Jared Leto and go up to him, I'm not going to say, oh man, you know, you, you, you are horrible as Joker or how could you, what did you do? I wouldn't say any of that. I'd actually say, man. Thank you, man. Like, you did a great job in that movie as portraying a whole different type of Joker. Of giving us something that was different. That was not only different, but had, like, a... Think about it, right? So you got Heath Ledger's Joker. You got, you know, um, uh, Cesar Romano's Joker. And you got... Um, C Right? You, you got Jack Nicholson's Joker. You got, you know, all these jokes. But, you know, the gold teeth. Uh, uh, the, the, the silver teeth. I can't even remember what color teeth they were. But just the whole different, the shorter uh, green hair. Like, it was different. And when I watch Suicide Squad, I'm not like... Oh, man, if he wasn't in it, oh, it would be, you know, it would be so... I don't think that. I actually, I'm just okay with it. I'm, I'm like, I have no problem with it. I'm not like, oh, man, this is so bad. I just think it's a different type of Joker. And, you know, to, to touch on uh, some of the things that I liked about the joke, that Joker, okay, that Joker character, was kind of his... You know, his, you know, his kind of, his movements were kind of just different. And it was okay. And just, like, one of the things I like, one of my favorite things, actually, about Jared Leto's Joker, or if you want a, a favorite part, was the part where it, that just shows, if you just analyze this one part compared to every Joker, right? Joker, this Joker did this, this Joker did that, this Joker did this, this Joker, right? If you just went in the one scene from every Joker and you just did the hand over the mouth, right? With the tattoo on the back. Baby Rosie, hold on. Let me, let me. this is a subject that I don't, yeah, it's crazy. You know, the, the hand over his mouth with with the tattooed uh, mouth on the back and him laughing. <laughs> it was good. There was, I didn't see anything wrong with that. I thought it was fine. And I actually thought like that part was, was good. And you know, it just being more, um, more, uh, which you really can't say that because like, Heath Ledger's Joker was, was, I believe, Christopher Nolan trying to be as real world as possible. And it actually taking place in that top, that year. So you could kind of see that, him actually, that being a real person. But I felt like it was a Joker that kind of was like for our time, Jared Leto's Joker. I felt like was a Joker just kind of being... Uh, see, I, I don't know, I don't know the, the word for it, but kind of just taking, uh, I guess a little more urban, a little more of an urban joker, and a little more of a, uh, you know, just different, you know, a different, you know, you can't blame them, whoever made, the people that made the movie, you can't blame Jared Leto, you can't blame, you gotta thank these people for giving you a different, no matter good or bad that you thought about it, but a different type of Joker. And I don't know about you, but I don't look for the bad in things, you know? I actually go in 
to things looking for the good in them. Now, granted that I made a, a video um, about uh, Terminator, right? Where I said, basically, I hate Terminator 1. But I love, love, love Terminator 2 and I love, love, love Terminator 3. You know, if I could go back, I guess I would notify people that without Terminator 1, there would be probably no Terminator 2, no Terminator 3. So I'm grateful for Terminator 1. Just because I don't go back and watch the movie and, and, and like it so much, that doesn't mean that I think that it's bad totally. I just hate that movie in a way where I would go back and watch it over and over. I just wouldn't. Okay, but now back to Suicide Squad, I would watch that movie over and over again. Okay, so, you know, listen, the whole Jared Leto thing, um, I feel like uh, when, when I read things about, oh, you know, and, you know, it's way better than Jared, everything about the whole Joaquin Phoenix Joker, which I am ecstatic about. If you go on my, my channel, okay, you will see that I was, for the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, um, I was on set um, for about, for like four or five uh, filming locations. I was actually there while it was being filmed in, back in October of 2018, as well as I, I'm doing a whole series now of going back to, to the filming locations, which I have a whole bunch of them that I'm, I'm doing and I've already done. Uh, as of right now, I actually have two... Uh, Behind the scenes videos coming out for Joaquin Phoenix Joker. On top of the four I already did. And I have about four or five, maybe more, filming locations coming out. On top of the, I think, about seven that I already did for Joaquin Phoenix Joker. So in any event, I, I'm loving it, okay? But I, I'm not going to say that Jared Leto's Joker was bad. I just can't say that. I can, what I can say is that it was different. And different is okay. Different is fine with me. You know? Um, it, it, I, I, it was a little bit cringy, kind of, in certain parts. But sometimes, going into certain movies, like, I don't know. Let me think. I, you know, this video is going to be gigantically long. I guess we could... Uh, this. Rather than a reaction video, this is more like a discussion. And if you see how long you can stand to hear me talk, right? Um, but, you know, in general, I'm very like, uh, I feel like I, 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 I can be pleased with, with movies very easily. You know, it doesn't take much. And for me, Suicide Squad alone, just, just Harley Quinn. That entire performance, that the whole, I truly am telling you that there will never be a better Harley Quinn in my opinion, okay? Now, we could go into uh, a whole bunch of things like Catwoman and who I think is the best Catwoman. And what I think, go ahead, leave, hey, do me a favor, you know what would be funny? Um, leave a comment down below, right? If you're watching this video, right? Who do you think my favorite Catwoman is? Okay? Um, you know, what, what would also be funny would be to see who you think my favorite Joker is. But, of course, like anybody, it's Heath Ledger. Right? Um... But watch out for Joaquin Phoenix on this, on this, this upcoming thing. But it's going to be different. Do you know what I'm saying? And even if it's not different, it's just two different performances. And, and why can't they both be great? Why can't they both be the greatest? I get it, you know? I get that there's the greatest. But is there really a the greatest? Right? Right? Can there, can Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and Heath Ledger's Joker both be the greatest equally? Is that possible? Guys, you know, I, I could go in depth on this whole thing, um, but I, I don't, let, let me just say I'm excited for uh, Birds of Prey. I think it's going to be a great movie. My daughter loves Harley Quinn. I love 
this Harley Quinn. I'm excited for this movie. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm actually just talking about it. I'm excited to watch Suicide Squad again. Um, also, uh, you know, back to uh, Jared Leto's Joker, I touched on that and how I don't think it's a, a fantastic performance and it's just the greatest thing ever, but I think that it's different. It's a nice take on it that if you have an open mind and you watch it, you can kind of, you know, appreciate, um, you know. Uh, and I also touched on how I think Suicide Squad is a great movie. A great movie. I put that, yeah, you know, I'm not going to say I put that with my top 10 movies. No way. But I'll tell you this I give that movie a 9 out of 10. So, so think what you want. But, uh, alright, guys. Till next time. Follow me on social media. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Like. Whatever you want to do. All right.